on what I did say. This period of day for this country, so in the EFCC, just the rain. I yes, right now, so in EFCC, they the hot back to back. They don't want to hear anything at all. As I declare you so, according to popular opinion, say one of the most anyhow governors we don't rule for this country. I they talk about former governor of Kogi State, Yahya Bello. Yes, many people, many people know some kind of because of the impunity when this man don't do things when he be governor. I did the old PA civil servant. This one, that one. I even remember that, that time of election. Uh, Natasha Akpoti, I be uh, the caller. Just because Mission no Mission of Rich one village go campaign is poor road, cut road to two. I team imposed the current governor on the people where people thought they don't want. So today, I say the president, the president governor, what they tell the people say, if 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 he has governor talk something. And yeah, 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 Bello as former governor talk and that thing. See, make people not obey and make them obey Godfather. Is that bad? As I declare you so now, EFCC now they don't go barricade the man house now. Now, what for you? Onto 84 billion naira. Mago, mago, what this man do? 84 billion. And I'm the one with the just this. Not be all be that too. Man, already just be now. Listen, I'm blessed. You see, operatives of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC. Have barricaded the house of the immediate past governor of Kogi State, Yahaya Bello, in Wuse, Abuja. Sahara reporters report that the EFCC siege is coming days after the former governor held a meeting with President Bola Tinubu at the state house. Sahara reporters reliably gather that there is currently no movement in and around the house located at Benghazi Street, Wuse Zone 4, in the nation's federal capital. On Wednesday, a top source shared the photograph showing the operatives of the EFCC barricaded, barricaded the access road to Bilo's house. The source said EFCC barricades Bilo's house in Abuja. No movement in the area as EFCC barricaded the house. They are yet to gain access. Although there was no immediate information available as to the reason why the anti graft agency stormed the former governor's residence, it may be connected with the 84 billion naira fraud case against him, which the EFCC is prosecuting. The EFCC had charged the former governor with financial fraud to the, to the tune of 84 billion naira. The anti graft Commission, in an amended charge, accused Bilu of diverting 80 billion naira of state funds in September 20, 2015, four months before he assumed office. We called that the EFCC had arraigned Bilo's nephew, Ali Bilo, before the Federal High Court sitting in Abuja for alleged money laundering to the tune of 10 billion naira belonging to the state governor. The state government uh, faulted the charge, describing it as ridiculous and laughable, argued that it is impossible as the former governor was not yet in a position to access uh, to, to access or misappropriate state funds at said time. The state government, in a statement signed by the Commissioner for Information and Communications, Kinsley Fanwo, had on February 7, 2024, accused the EFCC of being infested with persons whose intents disagree with the noble intention of Mr. President to defeat corruption in Nigeria. Sahara reporters reports that the EFCC had dragged former Kogi State Governor Yahaya Bello before Justice James Omotosho of the Federal High Court, Maitama Abuja, for alleged 84 billion money laundering. EFCC which joined, EFCC which joined Bello's nephew Ali Bello, Dauda Suleiman, and Abdul Salam Hudu as co-accused, has said it is prosecuting them on an amended 17-count charge of money laundering, breach of trust, and misappropriation of funds to the tune of 84 billion naira plus. The anti graft agency had claimed in the amended charge that former Governor Bello is still at large. Hmm. Count, count one of the charges of the charges read, reads that two Ali Bello, Dauda Suleiman, Yahaya Adoza Bello, still at large, and Abdul Salam Hudu, still at large. Sometime in September 2015 in Abuja, within the jurisdiction of this honorable court, conspired amongst yourselves to convert the total sum of 80 billion plus 
which some you reasonably ought to have known uh, forms part of the proceeds of your unlawful activity to wit criminal breach of trust, and you thereby committed an offence contrary to section 18, subsection B, and punishable under section 15, subsection 3 of the Money Laundering Prohibition Act 2011, as amended, the EFCC said in a related in, in a release sent to Sahara reporters. While ex-governor Yahya Bello and Hudu are still at large, Ali Bello and Suleiman, first and second defendants respectively, who were present in court, pleaded not guilty to all the charges when they were read to them. <laughs> Yahya Bello, why are you running? Why are you running? Although, as usual, I don't really expect anything meaningful to come out of this case, but we will see observant uh, because blacks maybe FCC don't change whether this their new leader uh, will bring desired change. I'm, I beg as they carry politicians so make their case the fast the way they did the, the way Bobriski and uh, Kubana Chief Priest case stay fast. So I beg make it see five more years they don't go court, they did they, 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 they prison until they and him the year like that. I beg, I beg anyway. Just thank God for everything. <laughs>